our daughter, our sister, and our excellency to be. Oh. Natasha is our own. She's a woman. And this is the constituency for women. We don't have any political party. Whether you are in PDP, APC, whatever. When a woman comes out, we are all in that party of that woman. That is how it is. People keep saying that women don't uh, support women. I don't think it is true. Is it true? It's, it's not true. It's not true. Let us have the candidate and see whether we are going to support her or not. We are going to support her. Are we going to support Natasha? Yes. Those of you that are here from Kogi, those of you that have PVC for Kogi, please do not disappoint us. I wish I had registered in Kogi. If I knew we were going to have a female candidate, I would have registered in Kogi. I'm sure hey, most of the women here would have gone to Kogi to go and register. Am I right? I will not introduce Natasha. She will be introduced on the screen. So that all of you will know her. I will even point to her, but it's easy to know. Natasha, I want to sing a song, but I want you to listen very well because it's a, an NCWS song that I'm going to. It's about time we have women who hold the authority and for once begin to make policies and decisions that will affect our children, affect our husbands, affect our lives and our unborn generation. For many years I've been known to be the advocate for a Jabuta Steel Company. When I started my advocacy, I knew it was predominantly a male-dominated area. But I did not allow my gender. I did not allow my gender to waver. I pursued the cause resiliently because I appreciated the singular role of an industrialized nation in terms of job generation and revenue creation. That singular project will employ thousands of youths directly and millions indirectly along the value chain of the steel downstream sector. So if we say today Nigeria is termed as the poverty capital of the world, that singular project can give us a turnaround. And that exactly is the reason why I stepped into politics. I keep telling people, I am not a politician, I am a political reformer. I, like many of you, have a certain disdain for politicians with due respect. I don't like the way politics is practiced in Nigeria. It's all about godfatherism, thuggery, violence, rigging. I don't like that. And that is why many people like me don't want to get into politics. And because people like me don't get into politics, we keep having the worst of us rule the best of us. And it must change. An indigenous police state. Because if you all 
Kibaki, we would have at least five female governors across Nigeria. It takes just one. It takes just one. It takes just one. And beyond, I will talk a little bit about the anchor, the light of a new Nigeria. But this will only be possible when I get all the support in prayers and in real time, in advocacy. I want to hear women from Ondo State, from Kaduna, from Katsina, from Delta State speak and say, I am Natasha, Natasha represents me. That will give a lot of motivation because it's not easy. I feel sometimes overwhelmed and there are times I don't even want to leave my room. But when I open my phone and I see messages from you and prayers, it renews my spirit. So I need you all. The next few months will be really challenging, but I'm going to count on your prayers. Don't disappoint. 
appoint me like I was appointed in 2016. America is not the same till today. You all hear stories about the, <laughs> the confusion that is going on in America. Today, children are killed in their schools. Women are assaulted on the street. As an American of color, there is something we call DWB. It's an offense when you are behind the wheels, driving white black. Because it means the police can stop you and arrest you anyhow. All this is happening because women fail to vote for Hillary Clinton. Kofi and Nigerian women, please do not fail to carry your daughter, your sister, your incoming excellency into that office. God bless you. I'm from Adamari, Yoruba. I run an NGO. I'm happy today for the good news that our mama, in fact, she always bring good news to us. Please, please clap for mama. I want to assure her and our governor, she's our governor already. Very soon, I'm traveling to Kogi. Hello. And I'm traveling with my first son. He's in Tofi. He's going to do a lot of things in Kogi. And uh, I have nearly 1,800 members in Kogi. And today, tonight, I'm going to call my coordinator, all of them, and I'll be there alive. I am going to work for her. As long as my life is born, as long as she's a woman, because we are suffering. We know we're not at you, we don't need you. Who know you? Anybody know you? In fact, for me, I'm not a novice, so I'm a I didn't know whether we were in the government. I'm telling you the truth. But if somebody has to change something. See what happened in those days, like what she said. Look at our mama from Calabar. Look at uh, 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 what their mama did. And the woman men wheat in today we are not paying tax. Let us do something. Only from Kogi, go will change in Nigeria. Anywhere you are, like what she said, my NGO in Nigeria, we are in 33 to 34 states. Each state will be calling Kogi. Anywhere you are, send message. We in uh, we are supporting so 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 person. We in the Kaduna, we are supporting so 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 person. The men, they are not there for us. They give you belay, now you go born. 